All right, what's going on everybody? So today's video is going to be over what skimmer I've used. Um, I've had a lot of people ask me which skimmer they should go with, if I use a skimmer, um, if I've tried any different kinds, and uh, what my opinion is on skimmers. So I was gonna go over that in this video. Now, I've tried four different skimmers. Um, I tried three on a previous tank. I had a, another nano tank before this. I went through three different ones. Finally found one that was okay, and it was pretty expensive. Uh, for this setup, I went on the forums and I found this particular this particular skimmer um, talked about. So I thought I'd give it a shot. I didn't really have too high hopes for it because it was only 60 bucks on Amazon. Um, but the skimmer I went with, it was the Bubble Magnus Mini Q. And I can't say enough good things about this skimmer. It is the best skimmer for the price. It is the best skimmer for a nano tank. It's super easy to use. I've had it running on this tank for about nine months and had zero problems with it. I've only maintenanced it once where I had to take it out and clean the actual pump. I didn't even have to do that. I just did it. Um, and that was about six months ago. And it's been running 24 seven on this tank ever since. Zero problems with it. It is the best skimmer on the market in my opinion. So like I said, I got it on Amazon. I'll have it linked down below in the description if uh, you wanna see the exact one I got. Um, it'll be down there or you can just search Bubble Magnus Mini Q. Um, awesome skimmer. So why would you need a skimmer? Well, if you have a nano tank like me and you have kind of a higher stocked with fish like I do and you like to feed your corals pretty heavy and you like to feed your fish pretty heavy, I really think it's a must for the tank. Uh, you don't have to, you might just have to do more water changes without one, but it makes your life so much easier to have a protein skimmer. Uh, keeps your water crystal clear by getting all that film off the top and getting all the proteins out of the your system. So I really do think it's a must for anyone that runs a system similar to mine. Um, it'll really, really, really help you space out those water changes. Now, to use it, uh, it's fairly simple. Um, it can go in a variety of different tanks. So it doesn't just have to be an all-in-one tank. It can be on a regular fish tank. You can just hang it on the glass. Here in a second, I'll pause the video and I'll take it off there to show you guys how to actually hang it on there. But uh, super user-friendly, very easy to use, very easy to clean. All around, the best protein skimmer I've come across. So let me go ahead and pause this video, take it off and uh, show you guys how to mount it. All right, uh, before I take it off and show you guys the mounting, I did wanna share a hack with you guys that I use with my protein skimmer. So when the reservoir does fill up, whether that is every other day or once a week, um, once it fills up, you will need to empty it. And before you empty it, you do wanna kill the power. Now one downside to this protein skimmer, it has no kill switch on the side. So it doesn't have a switch that you can turn it on and off. Makes sense, it's in your water. Um, they try to keep the electrical as far away from it as possible, but instead of having to go and unplug it every time, I would highly recommend you get one of these. They're real cheap on Amazon. I'll have it linked down below, but it's basically a remote outlet. So it has timers on here, but what I use it for is these on and off switches. So you simply just turn it off. You can turn off your skimmer. Then you can take this reservoir off, empty it, and then set it back down. And then you can simply just turn it back on and it starts skimming again. That way you never have to, uh, you never have to go to your outlet and unplug it. Um, it's just simple. So it's just a remote control. And then it's that white thing down there. And then I just have my protein skimmer plugged into it. Super easy hack. Awesome. I don't know what I would do without it. Best 15, 20 bucks I've spent. So I highly recommend that. Um, back to the mounting. All right, so here it is out of the tank. Um, it is pretty small profile for a skimmer. So down below here, you have the pump and this black box is where the pump's located. You can just uh, take it off down there and you can get to the pump. You can maintenance it out with the toothbrush and scrub it off. Uh, but this is what it looks like. So I wanted to show you guys the mounting bracket. So here it is, super simple design. So you can see it can go in a variety of different tanks. It can go on lip tanks, or it can go on all-in-one tanks of any brand, any style. Um, it simply just hangs on the back. So you stick this 
down into the tank and then you tighten this bolt and that's how it works. So super user friendly, easy to use. You can even do it with one hand. Then I just tighten it back, plug it in, turn it on with my switch and it is ready to roll. So in closing guys, this is the best skimmer I've came across. Uh, like I said, I've tried a bunch of different skimmers. Uh, this is by far the best skimmer for a nano tank. Uh, don't bother wasting your money any elsewhere. Uh, maybe there is a better protein skimmer out there, but I'm telling you guys from my experience, this is the best one you're gonna get, especially for 60 bucks. I don't see anything coming close to beating it. Um, I've had it going for a year, only maintenance at once. Uh, super user friendly, super easy to use. Um, it doesn't take weeks and weeks to season uh, to kick in like some other protein skimmers. Uh, you have to, you know, run them for a while before they start going. This one worked from day one. Uh, so I highly recommend the Bubble Magnus Mini Q. Absolutely the best skimmer I've come across. So save y'all some money. Just go with this one. Like I said, you can find them on Amazon. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Happy to answer. If you have any more video ideas, let me know. But other than that, thank you for watching and enjoy your Bubble Magnus Mini Q.